devil in me. The Dark Pictures Anthology. We're in the murder mansion of H.H. H. Holmes. A replica. Gotta find a place to put this wretched bookshelf. Maybe we have to spin it. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Let's straighten her out. First try. That's my best guess right there. Both feet forward. This has got some annoying ass scenes. Mostly just this crouching thing. It's so oh, cumbersome. Mark? No, we don't need you it. Okay oh, yeah, we do. Now we right gotta back. move it again. A little late for that. She could have probably guessed what he was doing by now. Reminds me of the 13th Ghost Mansion. The way those shelves on the bottom, they looked like runes or something, or trying to wish symbols. That was a, a movie most people, I think, would say it was bad, but I liked it. I also have an affinity for the number 13. So. And I like the guy in it that played in the first Scream, the, like the silly party guy. He was also an SLC punk. I liked, I liked a lot of shit with that guy in it. He hasn't been in many movies since then. Matthew Lillard, I think, is that his name? I think that's his name. He's one crazy guy. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Now we're locked in here. You can do this. They are certainly on an adventure. This is a lot like a platforming <laughs> game now. A lot more action than movie sequences than the other games, it seems. How the fuck did you do that? Let's say balcony. It's weird, God. but I guess it makes sense. Now you gotta get out here. Right here. So we got two inventories. A whole different set of nope, this one inventory. Whoa. Oh, oh. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Okay, There's H. check H. this Holmes out. Hat. It's his hat. Who? Is that a bowler? H. H. Holmes. Bowler. One of the most popular. I don't, I don't know much about hats. Okay? No. I know bowler's pretty just, popular. This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. With a name like a bowler, it should look brown and silly like that. <laughs> That's one weird ass thing. See? Damn. Well, what is it? Some Didn't realize it was gonna be a haunted yeah, house. A fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. Scare It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. I could have made that Damn a lot it. funnier that it scared him anything. twice. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. He looks 
dormant. The guy's hey, eyes be vacant. Civil with Charlie. He's the one who's like supposed to be uncivil going possessed. up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't. Tape from an FBI interview between Special Agent Monday and Manny Sherman. Sherman talks about how Holmes inspired him. A book by Joseph Morello. He was a true crime writer specializing in H.H. H. Holmes. A newspaper clipping announcing Hector Monday's birth. So Hector Monday was not Manny Sherman. Special Hector Monday was the FBI agent whose mom died before at his birth. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot women could die during childbirth. I forgot, so that's not that. Just because Hector investigator. I thought like, it was a ghost say baby half the something. Shit he writes. Jeff was killed in the bed. Kate saw a girl, Matt Mark and Kate found a tape. Nothing important. I'm young. Okay. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but... Imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are like he handled himself yes? just fine. So start acting like it. Great. Happy. She may, she may, may not be prima donna, but... Batman he didn't betray. He didn't betray somehow Charlie. Somehow we all sink to his level. Products made from human souls, human body parts, at least. No, not human body parts. They didn't show any signs of rot or infestation or no blood on them. Hey guys! Didn't look like skin. Oh my god, that's terrible lighting. It's but okay this has God, please do. the the fake is ray tracing. Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Let's all just relax. We just sat down. Give the man a moment. It's a weird ass drink. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, uh, Mr. Dumet. 
I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with you. Matt? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what? Why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan you comes together. You can't have you guys. Or on his daughter, boss? he took his daughter to sure? her grandmother. Why would he invite us here he came and back. dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, so we have perfect visuals. Drinking the sauce. He's still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. What? Cheers to that. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? What a beautiful toast. Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah, there's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You started it. What was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some oh, ideas. Moron. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. What the fuck are they Shouldn't drinking? Like strawberry pineapple wine um, or some does shit? Does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? Like, the and lady Ross. that was, has the orange sweater that I looks it like it fits well in front of her, like the lights are freaking off their shirt or something. They must just like paste it over everybody's glass. The with what lights already in there, we just There's need to no reason for that to look like that. We can make it look as if it were. It should be like whitish blue if it was just the glass. What if Dumet shows up? See, but it looks good in front of her. If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. 
All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible. It's not even from the right from angle. In, please. No mistakes. Perfection. The lights shine shining down on top of it, to not out from underneath. Or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. With such a good, good, good toast, and he drove everybody away without finishing the drinks. <laughs> right. Why to the side? Right. Look at that. Why was his leaning to the side? Toasty, trophy urn. Charlie maintained control during dinner. Why was his like floating all alien like? Charlie number two. That's his hat. It's his glasses. I got a hair I can't get out of my mouth. That's cool, like there was other games like where the lights flicker, like you don't know if the game's glitching or it's not supposed to be like that, and it works to it's a favor. Hello? Guys? Is that you? That's not going anywhere. UVP recording? Something's living in the walls. I don't think it's in this room. Backpack looks weird. I don't have proper shadows. They do have. It is fake ray tracing. There's no shadow for her, back, her backpack. <coughs> Not at all. That also could mean that I was right that the PS5 renders its own lighting, shadows, effects like that. <coughs> and you're. Like, that's why everything static in the environment has proper shadows. Everything the characters pick up and move, and the characters themselves have no shadows. She might have a tiny one. Yeah, she has a small one. I guess they just thought it was too insignificant to have shadows for the bag. Well, it's obviously not going to be through the walls. It's going to be in an opening. I don't know if her heart's beat is the sound I'm supposed to be following. It is going to be at a dead end. Because I got a clue into the fact of what it is, you know, with all the trap doors closing off of the hallways. They've got to come to grips, come to the realization of that again. Or if it's the big, you know, sounds like somebody's touching the mic. <laughs> this don't really need to be any type of sound navigation thing. It's really follow the only open path. It's got a people on it. We're never going to find it because it's in the walls or it's a hallway blocked off. You're not supposed to hear a heartbeat. We got a copycat killer on our hands. Excuse me, it does it. It gets loud whenever I turn, no matter which direction I'm facing. It's 
Sabrina, you can hear her footsteps, but then when she runs, you don't hear her footsteps. Weird, you can only inspect those two paintings. And everywhere I've gone, I've heard sounds now. got to give us opportunity to let her live. They've got a little bit of PT style in here, but well, nothing can compare to that. Oh my god, her shadow just scared the shit out of me. I really don't want her to die. side of this hallway. Sounds like a video recording of somebody getting killed. God, this is terrifying. Oh fuck, oh fuck. It's cool how they give you the option to turn all the terrifying sounds off. Oh god, it's so much better. I think I just need to chill out for a second and get a drink or something. My guy. Where it all went down. We're gonna be locked in here. Now that that's that's beyond the killers. Well, I mean, I guess it's possible. That's really pushing it to the extreme, though. So he knew that she would be walking around with a directional mic and played those sounds in this room to lure her in here to trap her. That's really far fetched. Like. You must be familiar with the way TV and recorded media is. Lured her in here. Wow. And how did that door shut? I thought we would get a chance for her to live. My God. And that was terrifying. I know that hallway had to have changed when we turned our backs too. Damn it. Breakers. Wow. Surprised more people haven't, like this hasn't been more popular talked about. I mean, I watched one streamer play, I watched parts of one streamer play it, I think just the beginning. I didn't, because I don't remember anything after the beginning. Shit. Hello? Like it's, good, it's good as it's going now. Mr. How could, Dumet? How could it not? It's obviously the best one. It should be, they had so much practice. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East Third Lighthouse, ineligible, lake ineligible, date the 3rd of August, 2011, dear Mark and Yellenfer. As instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will, a, a code to style as padded, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your state is to Richard Belknap. We amend make a copy, 
give it to your representative for the records you can view or change at any time by logging into your account. That's strange, suspicious. And then they both died. <clears throat> the lady looks 10 years younger, but how? The Columbus Spa. I wanted to read the rest, but the European health secret now in Lake Michigan. Due to the winter sun, pool opening hours have changed. Our new hours, 10 to 5. The winter sun, pool opening hours. Why is your pool open during the winter? Digital lock installation, $48. What year is that? That's from Detroit, Michigan, too. Firex Security Corporation. What does... Why does that have anything to do? Why? How, why would they come all the way from Detroit, Michigan to install a lock in this island? We are, are we in Ohio or something? Are we in Detroit? Ring the bell. Oh four five one. Might be time to join the twenty first century, guys. Twenty seventeen is in the twenty first century, gal. Oh, I forgot to examine this place. I just saw something shiny on, on the other side. This is the script. Huh. Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script. In Murder Castle Lobby, day one, slow pan through the lobby, drinking in the atmosphere. Go for a 360 instead. Series that dissolves. Yeah, he always does slow panning all the time. 360 is a good choice. Series that dissolves between key exhibits, details ending on front desk. I like the idea on the front desk part. A hand reaches into frame and rings the doorbell as intros go. This one's utter garbage. I see criticism. I don't see any better suggestions. Tilt up to reveal Kate. Kate, does this sound right to you? It's a camera. The World's Fair Hotel was a hotel like no other. It's always ran red with blood. Its sheets were washed in mother's tears. The price of a room came at the cost of a life. And the owner was a liar, a fraud, and quite possibly the most prolific murderer in American history. Transpose some imagery over these lines. V voice effects of screaming and sobbing. Kate turns away from the desk and it's frame cut to on Kate, slow pulling back as she walks through the lobby. As you've already seen, that bloody rain come to an end in the Philadelphia courtroom where H.H. H. Holmes was handed at the same handed the same sentence he inflicted upon so many others. Death in, 19, in 1895, his hotel, or murder castle, as it became known, was gutted in an act as suspected. Gutted in an act of suspected arson before the building itself was torn down in 1938, consigning another part of Holmes' infamy into history, or so it seemed. Does our audience understand co-signing? Consi consigning? Does our crew understand consigning? Kate stops. Camera continues to pull back, revealing the space around her. It may look like I've stepped back to those dangerous days of 1893, but I can assure you I am safe and sound in present-day Illinois, where a team of talented production designers have undertaken a most remarkable act of recreation, in a recreation of the infamous building where noted entrepreneur and H.H. H. Holmes expert Grantham Dumal has. You can almost hear the desperate screams from the unfortunate guest trapped here, doomed to become Holmes' next victim. So without further ado, let's step back in time and maybe see if we can't cover a few mac macabre secrets that might still be lingering. Kate X frame screams. I think Eric can do this. Not sure I want legal on my case if she has an asthma attack. Well, I could see why no, not many. It doesn't seem like a big improvement to what she did. Well, as far as uh, 360 go, 316 is of a slow pan. It's not really going to make or break it. But he always does slow pan like three or four times a video, I bet. I could definitely see that getting monotonous. I mean, boring. There was something behind the desk. 
Lock it. Really more about the subject matter to me, because if there was something such as a documentary on H.H. H. Holmes, I would not care if one scene or two scenes in a row had a slow pan. More about the whole. I wouldn't even notice something like that unless I had watched something two or three times already. Like the first time would just be fascination. The second time would be paying closer attention to the things I can't remember. And then the third time would probably be memorization, memorizing the facts in order to tell people the story. Maybe like the fourth time I would start to get to that shit. I bet you you could come up with mix a little psychology and you and a little bit of how to teach people learning processes and you could come up with a perfect time to change small details such as that like on the fourth episode of a TV series start to change up little details like that. It's, I don't know, it'll probably be still be pretty insignificant. Glad we came upstairs. Read this letter, but what's underlined in red? The address of where we're supposed we were where we were supposed to meet. Why would he keep a, a copy of a letter like that? And if he's a serial killer, and you invited people to come to your murder mansion to get killed, why would you make a copy of the invitation and leave it just sitting around in the middle, out in the open? Like he had to know he was going to kill them. Hundred and eighty dead people. Now what it was it hundred and seventy nine? And he captured the girl. It's weird how he made mannequins of two of the people that came. But making you think like he made a mannequin of the the spokes lady with the short red hair, and I thought she's gonna die first. Then he made a mannequin of Charlie and I thought he was gonna die second. And now the first one to die is gonna be somebody completely different. What is going on? Maybe we have to turn the power on. That's odd, just to leave shit blocking the path to the exit. Guess the only thing was the, the Ubel. We went in there, there we learned the code, but we don't know where the lock is. Into the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <sighs> choices, Jamie. Make better choices. Enjoy your memorabilia, your dude. Fault. Ben at Killer Paraphernalia. <laughs> Online auction for serial killer memorabilia. Shipping address printed up postage label. Order 1741. Order date 2017. Paid with credit card. Quantity one, item name, H.H. H. Holmes, authentic hat. Description, authentic original hat is worn. No way. Winning bid, 24,000. Username, Triple H, 1896. Maybe he come back from the grave and wanted his hat back. I, I think he's selling fakes, though. I think the original is probably buried with him. Ed is hanging in the picture. They're showing him wearing his hat, so. Maybe it was a recreation painting. Cost of segment, Jesse. Planners and specifications, electrics and press site, engineering fees, permits, logistics, environmental, other, evacuation, demolition. What does it say on the front? It says, 
Cooper, GD, General Contractors. Dear Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract. Would like the remaining crew to conduct the cost to seven. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we'll arrange for a placement crew to leave issue and your team for a period. And everyone, please continue to adhere to the terms. Stipulated in non disclosure, you're going to treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Uh, that was a waste of paper and time. I couldn't make any type of logic or guess as to who any of these people are, what they're in reference to. But here's another one. And this one re references January 13th. That was my birthday. Dear Mr. Belknap, following our discussions regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting to a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find over the breakdown of work as the estimate for total cost of work. It commence on Tuesday, January 13th. It will take 10 weeks. An estimated end date of Friday, March 24th. So this was a recreation of the H.H. Holmes Murder Hotel that was going to be a hotel, and they've decided to change it to an H.H. H. Holmes haunted house. It doesn't look like it needed much construction for that, but I don't know anything about that. <sighs> Why does she press it twice inside? Why? Why? It's not like it's plugged into anything. Oh, the red button. <sighs> the breakers. Should probably be lucky that, that the power was out. That's the murder death button. Although, you, could, if he was the one pressing it, you'd probably be safe. Yeah, the murder and death happened somewhere else. It's a weird way to build a room. Look at that little weird ass corner there. This got me interested. A hotel room from the 1800s with a stage in it? It's really, how common is that? I've not heard much about hotels from the 1800s at all besides the H.H. H. Holmes Hotel, but I don't remember having a stage. Oh, and we're right back in the lobby. I want to get behind this. It should have a, a backstage entrance, but it don't. That's really weird. How are people going to get behind the curtains with anybody seeing them? Why is there no sign that says theater or something? Where the hell is the, the, the fuses at? I would guess the basement. Or if I had to make a backup guess, I'd guess the the weird maintenance area we were in that had, wasn't fancy as the rest of the place. This area. I didn't see anything now. You still didn't see that lock either. Oh, there it is. Thank God, something from this century. Now this one's going to be difficult. So this one. 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 This. Oh, fuck. So we got this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, 
Oh four five one. Jamie reset the fuse box. Trophy earned. So now I don't want to read. Attention. This is a severe weather storm warning. This is not even plugged in. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat. This is a severe weather storm warning for the. Maybe it's ghost radio. The fuck was that? Since the construction, yeah, useless really. Adds nothing to the story. Has no spookiness to it. What is that noise? This is not plugged in either, and these are known to run off batteries. Why does she always press it twice? The stage is on. Here's the red button that's supposed to start the show. The animatronic show, ah. There's Charlie on the end. Looks like Charlie. Special feature on that. That's pretty high tech for the 1800s. That must be Charlie at the end. That's why it's so important that we look at him. We can only look at that one. This is the one I thought was Charlie. Well, maybe not. I don't get it. Wow. I didn't think they even had electricity in 1893, but I guess I'm wrong. Ben Franklin. Did his experiments with electricity in the 1700s, so maybe in 18, the 18 teens is when electricity first became pop, getting popular. Now that the electricity's on, I gotta backtrack to the start and see what we can mess with. Doesn't look to be anything. But there's the the videography lights, the filmography lights, I don't know what they're called. And if we can the hallways didn't lock us out. There was a way into the main room through one of these rooms. It wasn't that way. Been to the desk. Maybe we're not meant to. This was it. This goes back out to the main room. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a good hey, foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be they fun. don't want the director to get paid for nothing, so they give him the most uncomfortable chair they minutes. could, and so he's constantly moving. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. <laughs> what the hell? It's been a long time since she got trapped in that room. See, it looks like hey, it's in the walls, too. Hey, help! Somebody help me! I can't see a thing! I... Guys? She's in there Guys, with the please. mannequin of H.H. H. Holmes. Get me out of here! I can't see a thing! The door's stuck. Break it open! 
We gotta have a choice to keep her from getting stabbed. He didn't come fall down like that. He's been moving. Aaron? <laughs> that, that sounds like a hell of a hard house. Right here. You're not hurt, are you? Just open the door! Move! Move! Charlie! He's gonna have an asthma attack. We're here, Aaron. Oh, this is the scene where she gets stabbed. It's gonna happen any second. One, two, three, and one, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock the door down. Me and Marco can't sort it out. Here you come. Who's there? How did she end up with the killer? That must be a different door. Get get away from me. Uh oh, how are we gonna survive? I didn't do a damn thing. Thank <laughs> you. 